Our journey so far, we've been networking with and working closely with Gurdj Tor and Amal Stami, who came here in February 2018, talking about the prevention of suicide. We've also gone to Bradford Godwara in May 2018, our message being the same. We have additional fixtures um, set up for the remainder of this year as well. And we are thankful to the Carlsell Football Federation who has enabled us to make more opportunities for us. We are currently networking with the Leicester Football Alliance as well. We believe in our mantra, mind over matter, and wish to focus on all generations, etc. Our next steps. Working with children, we have created thought jars. As part of our fundraising, we've created these jars which are aimed at encouraging young children to communicate their thoughts and their feelings to realise the art of conversation, the art of talking. We aim to work with children of all ages to spread our word about mindfulness, living in the present, not worrying about the future and not worrying about the past. Additionally, the Hida Foundation has set up a forum for those going through bereavement called Doksok which enables families, individuals to get to together and talk about grief, death and the impact that it has on individuals and families through a very creative form. What can you do? We need your help. We would like you to look at our website. Please keep updated with our Facebook pages and our Facebook posts. Volunteer. We need as much help as possible to spread our word help with our stalls, be part of our Doxoc group. We have various forthcoming events as well. So on the 11th of July, thanks to Kieran Call um, Grewal, we've got a taboo forum set up. Again, where key organisations have now been put together to say and to share the work that we are undertaking, the seva that we are undertaking. We have a fixture at the Bebenangi Godora in Hansworth coming up soon and also have been asked to go to Gravesend Godora as well to talk about mental health, to talk about the opportunities and the support that is out there. In summary, this is just the start of our journey. We want to give mental health a silent killer, a very strong voice, and that is needed. Breaking down stigma and cultural barriers to reinforce that it's okay not to be okay. There is an abundance of help out there to support and to nourish the minds and the souls of everyone that we care about. As a community, as a family, as individuals, we can collectively work together and talk about emotion and feelings rather than suppressing experiences which cause high levels of distress. The Hira Foundation wishes to enhance avenues to support individuals so that each and every person feels connected, is part of that doksok and is not judged. Let's make a difference. Life is a gift and each, of every, each and every one of you is a valued, loved and special person within this world. <laughs> We need your support. Thank you for listening. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fate. Kiki mente health jo hai na, oda koi Punjabi tor de utte koi shabd nahi hai ga. Asi mehsoos kar sakde, but kya nahi sakde ki hai ga. Um, so, just to let you know, my name is Rabal Singh. I'm a clinical counsellor, but also I run a uh, a, a programme on Sangat TV on Mondays at seven o'clock called Mental Health Matters. The show hai ga is to highlight the comments of ki 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 on the mental health which mental health jo hai ga na i need dekh to si aurat hai ga aadmi hai ga vadde ho chote ho sikh ho hindu ho muslim ho sikai ho mental health hai na i bhi nahi dekhda ki tusi kithe rehnde hai ga paavi birmingham rehnde ho paavi tusi london rehnde ho paavi tusi scotland rehnde ho paavi tusi india rehnde ho mental health mental health hunda hai ga but mental health is very common, which is Why is it so unheard of talking? Is it because we're scared? Is it because we're not too sure? So my aim today is to talk about mental health, what is counselling and why talk to a professional. So, counselling is 
counselling in, in a way is to talk to people, it's to get the understanding, to get your point across and actually to talk to someone about what is there. Counselling in a professional way. They need they're confused, they need some sort of guidance, they need to understand what's going on, find out key hold. The counseling is there to actually give them a bit of a, a, a foundation, an understanding of the counseling. The counseling is there to give them a bit of a foundation, an understanding of the counseling. The counseling is there to give them a bit of a foundation, an understanding of एक जगह है कि है जिसे बंदे अपना विचार कर सकते हैं क्या जो थेरेपी होती है ना एट द माइंड इमोशंस एंड थॉट्स जो तें होती है एंड ऑल दिस आर इंटरलिंक्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ की हो रहा है कि डर कि योर योर थॉट्स योर बिहेवियर एंड योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स आर इंटरलिंक्ड जो तें सोच दे और कर दे या तें सोच दे फोन तो उसे काउंसलिंग होती दी गई जब तुसी किसी को मिल नहीं सके तो उसे अपने गल फोन तक आते टेलीफोन काउंसलिंग वी हैव टू स्पीक अबाउट योर इश्यूज एंड योर थॉट्स ग्रुप काउंसलिंग कभी कभी ऐसी जिधर हम काफी कोर्सेस होंगे जो अल्कोहल कोर्सेस हो गए गैम्बलिंग कोर्सेस हो गए अल्कोहल नॉनवेस्� इन्हाँ ले फिर ऑनलाइन काउंसलिंग होगी। ऑनलाइन काउंसलिंग आज काफी जो बच्चे करके ना जो मोबाइल फोन से होंडे इंटरनेट से होंडे ना आजकल ऑनलाइन काउंसलिंग काफी चंगी रंदी है। दोस्त किड्स लोग एक्चुअली का ऑनलाइन और दोस्त लोग को इंटरनेट एक्सेस। ऑनलाइन काउंसलिंग इस इस क्वाइट गलबात आमने सामने बैठे गर्ल्स का सदस्य है जैसे मार्च के अंदर विचार करनी ऐसी फिर टेलीफोन दो तो काउंसलिंग हो सकती है जितने तो ऐसी आपके फोन दे उतने तो ऐसी किसी ने गाल करो जरूरी नहीं है कि तो ऐसी सेम जगह चोरने चाहिए कई बंदे होंडे कि जब मैं जब भी मैं किसी ने गाल कर दा उन्हें तेर जो टेलीफोन काउंसलिंग होती है सब कुछ कॉन्फिडेंशियल होता है क्या मतलब कि कि दूसरे ने लाउड नहीं कहा कि दूसरे ने गाल करने जो काउंसलिंग होती है एक फॉर्म दे जिधर डॉक्टर पेशेंट काउंसलिंग निश्चालती होती है ना कि डॉक्टर दूसरे बंदे ने दस्ते की भी आया है क्या काउंसलिंग सेम तरह Anger, anger management, anxiety, depression, bereavement, you can talk about anything, anxiety, anger, loss, bereavement, fear, if you, even if you are unsure, you don't know what happens, you don't know what happens, you don't know what happens. The question होना आता है क्या समा question आता है तो इसी आपने तो इसी professional क्यों चीज़ करो आपने मित्र दोस्त नो या family विच क्यों ना गाल करो हाँ जी पहले चीज़ें गाल करो पर जो professional बंदे होंडे ना वो different है क्या उन तो इसी काफी बंदे जो आंधे हैं क्या वो पर दुखल के आंधे हैं क्या दुखल के आम से ना एक दूसरे ना गाल कर देगा प दस नेग में ही तू आ ना कर तू आ कर तू आ ना कर कर तू आ ना कर। When you talk to a friend or a family, they end up giving their opinion to you, or they, or you might be hesitant to be talking to them because they might be judging you. They might say to you, "I can't talk to my father or my mother because if I tell them that I've not done my homework or I'm I'm worried about exams, they're going to panic and freak out, or they're not able to be in that position where they can talk to you impartially." Trouble talking about your troubles is very, very key. If you're not able to talk about your troubles, you're going to end up going in some severe places. A lot of cases I've, I've dealt with in suicide, it's not because they don't they want to commit suicide. It's they, they had no choice. कोई हो चारा नहीं सका कि ना suicide करना है, कोई गलत सुन्दा नहीं सका, कोई मंदा नहीं सका। तो जो कोई बंदा मंदा ना हो या सुन्दा ना हो, तो बंदा करेगी। ऐसी सुन्दे नहीं है। when you don't listen, when you're in a position and you want to talk with the other person who's already given the answers before you've even answered the question, you're living in a dangerous place. So when you talk to a professional, 
We're not there to give you answers straight away. We're help to, there to help you. Help you understand, help you to figure, help to work through what you need to work through. We don't have the answers. I don't have the answers. But the answers always lies within the question. But my role here is to make sure we both understand the question. And when we understand the question, we can work through to the answer. Going forward. Judgment. We always, anything we do, we all one rule, but we all get questioned of fear of being judged. We don't judge in counselling, in therapy. We're here to be open, understanding, and to be there for you guys. Emotional. Emotional support is quite key. Sometimes when you're in a family or you're with friends, you're not able to talk to emotional level. Sangaji, just how many guys here can openly cry or talk about their emotions? Can you, anyone stick their hands up? There's about 40 of you. It's not easy talking about your emotions. When we're doing quite a lot of work on grief and loss. Um, Man up. That is the most hardest thing to do. Banda manna. Because when you say emotion, Maharaj, you have to Guru Granth Sahib, you have to keep your mind. Rag is mood. Rag, rag is emotions. Jo Maharaj can this emotion express karo. If you ask yourself, the emotions express not going to be done. That's not going to Expressing emotions, expressing thoughts. It's very, very key. But we can't do it in our families, our friends. Because we're scared. Ki bhai banda ki sochega. Flana ki kehega. Timka ki kehega. And then we're in this little circle of, I can't show my emotions. My emotions need to cast other. Fit tension jada vardi hai gaya. Kuch kar nahi sakde. Kuch chaar nahi hai andar. Us to baat fe halke, halke karke na. Or jo kehde snowball effect. Gal choti hon di hai gaya. But lag de, lag de, lag de na, anna vada gola ban janda hai gaya. Jo gola ban gaya na, unho muskil hai gaya, unho samjana. When we don't talk, we get, we have an issue. Issue then becomes a very small issue. But if it's not addressed, that issue eats away at you over a period of time. And that small issue becomes a massive snowball. And when it becomes a massive snowball, we panic. We freak out. Talking about it is the only way to address that snowball. But that snowball is not going to go by itself. And if you don't address that snowball, it's going to get bigger bigger and bigger. And once you get to that stage where it's too big, it will overwhelm us. And then we start thinking, what are we going to do? How are we going to do? Can't talk to my friends, can't talk to my family, no one's going to understand, they're going to tell me I'm wrong, they're going to tell me I'm doing this right, they're going to have a go at me. It's not, it's not practical. But talking to a professional, at whatever level it is, allows you the opportunity to, to explore, to work with and chip away that snowball. Why choose a professional over a family? Well, you don't have to. You do not have to choose a professional. Try and talk to your family. Try and talk to your friends. This is addition, not subtraction. Doing vichar in Sangat is addition to our strength. We need to go back to our roots of Sikhi and understand it could be Sat Santok Vichar. Is the vichar is so important because without understanding what we're doing, how we're doing, why we're doing it, we're going to lose it. Just to let you know, I um, mentioned to you earlier on, I actually do have my own TV uh, show on Sangat TV on Mondays. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a show on grief, loss and, and bereavement. It's a very, very tough subject. I've got two wonderful guests who are going to be on there. Kal Satraje, Sangat Channel TV, Sky 755. I'm going grief, loss and bereavement. If you want to see it, you it's a show for you to highlight these problems. And before I begin and start talking about what I'm here to talk about, I wanted to say it's okay not to be okay. And we have an amazing team here today who are trying to get everyone together, an amazing team, to just speak about what's going on for you. And sometimes you can't go to family, you can't watch friends, but there are people here and it's okay to reach out to these people. Now, I'm here today to talk about emotional well-being. So what, what are emotions? 
Emotions are fear, anger, sadness. There's so many emotions that we feel and everyone feels them differently. And the thing is, sometimes we have so many different emotions and we're not aware of what these emotions mean to us. So when we're not aware of what these emotions mean, what happens? We try and avoid them. So when we try and avoid them, we find coping strategies of how to deal with what these emotions are. And these coping strategies can be things like taking alcohol, taking drugs, um, trying to please other people to try and make ourselves feel better. And all of these things are just temporary. They're just there temporarily. Now we have emotions, and these emotions are trying to communicate something to us. And if we take the time to try and understand what these emotions are saying to us, we can reach our full potential, which is what we're here to do. We're living this life and we're here temporarily, that's it. So why not take the time to, to just sit with yourselves? Now the thing is, that's so easy for me to stand here and to say, just sit with yourselves, discuss what your emotions are, communicate with your emotions. But we're not taught to deal with this from a young age. We're not taught. Instead, it's we, we, we're, the emotions that we have, they drive, the emotions are driving our lives. We're not in control sometimes. So, for example, fear can control us. A fear of judgment. What are people going to say if I do this? What's going to happen if I do this? What's the community going to say if I do this? And it's really important that if we understand what this fear is about, we can then take control of our lives and we can live the life that we're here to live. We have one life and it's to make the most of that. Now our emotions, they all come from our thoughts. So sometimes we have thoughts and these are developed through the environment that we're brought up in. And we're conditioned in a way to believe things that aren't, or that aren't true. And we continue to live that way and then we become in conflict with ourselves because we're trying to live a life that we want to live but then we have this other side of us, the conditioned side, which comes out, creeps in and says, no, 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 we shouldn't be doing this. We need to do it like this. We need to do that. And that's all linked to our emotions. So understanding your emotions is key. Becoming aware of them is key. And like we said, sometimes you don't have the tools to do that. And there's people here today, and I'll be out there. There's other people out there today, and we will have a conversation with you. We'll tell you, we'll give you guidance. We'll tell you which way is best to go. Because once you understand what's going on up here, you'll understand your reality. Because our emotions create the reality around us. So what we're feeling, create, it comes from our thoughts, and our thoughts makes us see what we're seeing in, every, in everyday life. For example, people standing here today would be like, oh, I can't talk in front of people, what are people going to think of me? What are people going to say? But it's, it's okay. Because everyone's allowed, everyone's entitled to their own thoughts, and it's okay to have your own thoughts but it's becoming aware of them and managing them. So not letting your emotions take over. And like I said, once we understand our emotions, we can start to take over and reach our full potential. Now I just want to end there by just saying that you're not alone in this. You're not alone, there's people out there that want to help. So reach out. We can meet you 50%, but we need you to meet us 50%. Right, thank you for your time today. Thank you. ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੂਵਹੈਮਟਨ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 15 ਸਾਲ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਚਲਾਏ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਨਾਲੇ ਬੁੜੀਆਂ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਚਲਾਏ ਆ ਅਜੇ 4 ਹਫ਼ਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੁਈਨ ਤੋਂ ਅਵਾਰਡ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਐਮਬੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੂਵਹੈਮਟਨ ਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਚਲਾ ਰਹੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਲਈ ਨਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੈਸਟ ਮਿਡਲੈਂਡਸ ਹੈਲਥ ਅਥਾਰਟੀ ਤੋਂ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵਧੀਆ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਲਈ ਉਹ ਬਹਾਮਟਨ ਚ ਵੀ ਅਵਾਰਡ ਆਪਾ ਜਿੱਤ ਗਏ ਨਾਲੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਵੈਸਟ ਮਿਡਲੈਂਡਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਆ ਉਹ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਨਾਲੇ ਬੁੜੀਆਂ ਲਈ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਬੁੜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਹੋਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਸੋ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਕਮਰੇ ਆ ਚ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਆਪਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਕਰਦੇ ਪਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਕਿ ਕੱਲੀਆਂ ਬੁੜੀਆਂ ਲਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖ ਲਿਆ ਕਿ ਸੂਈਸਾਈਡ ਰੇਟ ਕਾਫੀ ਹਾਈ ਗਿਆ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਮੌਲਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖੀਏ ਅਗਲੇ 15 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਬੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਯੰਗ ਵੀ 20 25 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੇ 30 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੇ 40 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਾਨ ਲੈ ਲੈ ਰਹੇ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਸੋਚੀਏ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸ਼ਰਮ ਆਂਦੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਪੇ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਬਾਰੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਗੱਲ ਨਹ
ਅਸੀਂ ਡਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੇ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਜੇ ਸੋਚੀਏ ਇਹ ਕਿਉਂ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਿਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਖੁੱਲ ਕੇ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਬਾਰੇ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਸੋਚੀਏ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖਣਾ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਦੇਣਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਬਈ ਉਸ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਬੰਦਾ ਪਾਗਲ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਟਰਮ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਦੁੱਖ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਆ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਫਿਕਰ ਵੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਾਗਲ ਸੱਦਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਗੱਲ ਖੁੱਲ ਕੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਰੀਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਡਰ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਪੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੀ ਕਹੂਗੇ ਜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਵਾਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਨਿਕਲ ਗਈ ਪੇ ਲੋਕ ਕੀ ਸੋਚੂਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵਾਲਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਪਾਗਲ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਜੱਕ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਲੈਣੇ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਇਹੀ ਕਹੂੰਗੀ ਪੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡਰੋ ਨਾ 15 ਸਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਵੂਵਰਹਮਟਨ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਚਲਾਉਣ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਬਾਰੇ ਟੋਕ ਕਰੋ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੋ ਖੁੱਲ ਕੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੋ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਅੰਦਰ ਰੱਖੀਏ ਉਹ ਗੱਲ ਵੱਧ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਬੰਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੁਇਸਾਈਡ ਵੀ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਾਫੀ ਦੇਖੇ ਉਦਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਬਣ ਕੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਲਓ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਹਫਤਾ ਮੈਂ ਸੌਂਦੀ ਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਾਨ ਲੈ ਲਈ ਚਾਹੇ ਬੁੜੀ ਚਾਹੇ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਘਰ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਰੋਂਦੀ ਆ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਚਦੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵਾਲਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਦੁਖਿਆ ਸਾਡੀ ਕੈਂਪੇਨ ਇਹ ਆ ਲੈਟਸ ਟੋਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਟੂ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਦ ਸਟਿਗਮਾ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਆ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਬਾਰੇ ਡਰੋ ਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸ਼ਰਮ ਨਾ ਮੰਨੋ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਚਿਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਨਾ ਕਰੂਗੇ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਬਾਰੇ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਵਾਧੀ ਹੀ ਜਾਣੀ ਆ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖੀਏ ਕਿਉਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨੀ ਵਧੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਸ਼ੈਤ ਡਿਵੋਰਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸ਼ੈਤ ਫਿਕਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਸ਼ੈਤ ਡੋਮੈਸਟਿਕ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਪਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਬੰਦਾ ਝਗੜਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਆ ਸ਼ੈਤ ਆਪਾਂ ਪੈਸਿਆਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਫਿਕਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਜਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਦੇਣਾ ਆਪੇ ਬੱਚਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਅਸਲੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਪੜ ਜੂਏ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਕਾਫੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਆ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖੀਏ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਬੰਦਾ ਫਿਕਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਚੈਨ ਸੇ ਸੌਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਨੇ ਉਹਨ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰੀ ਜਾਣੀਆਂ ਬਾਰ-ਬਾਰ ਉਹਨੇ ਖਾਣਾ ਪੀਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੱਜ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨੇ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਆਪੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨ ਆ ਉਹ ਦਿਲ ਦਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਉਹ ਸੈਡ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਰੋਈ ਜਾਣਾ ਉਹ ਕਹਿ ਦੇਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਥੱਕਿਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਨੀਂਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਬਿਸ਼ਾਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ 